Okay, so this is going to be a short video about cutting and splicing audio regions or audio files in Ableton Live and crossfading two audio files together within Ableton Live. So you'll see here I'm currently in arrangement view and I've got two different audio files loaded into track one here. One of them is Can Crush. We'll go ahead and take a quick listen to that. Okay, and then we've got another one, which is a recording of a fish tank. We'll give a quick listen to that. All right, pretty basic stuff. Now, let's say I wanted to cut up this region here and then maybe combine it with a little bit of element from this guy here. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna zoom in really quick and give myself a little bit to work with there. I'm also gonna extend my view so I can see a little bit more of the audio region. So I'm gonna focus on this one here first. So it's pretty easy to do. The um, first thing that you'll probably wanna do when dealing with audio, unless you warped it to fit specifically on the grid that you're working within in Ableton, is you'll wanna turn your grid off, um, grid snapping off. So you just right click in your um, project area and then just go ahead and turn the grid off. And that allows you to select anywhere in infinite in infinity between zero and one. So just allows you for a little bit more control. So let's say I just wanted to focus on the last little bit of this audio region here. So what I wanna do, and to cut uh, an audio file in Ableton, it's really easy. Just place the playhead wherever you wanna make the cut. So just by clicking in the region, I'm moving the playhead around. I wanna make a cut right about there, I think. So I place the playhead and then just typed control E. Command E if you're using a Mac. And then let's say I wanna make a cut there. Control E, make one, a couple more cuts here. We'll make one there, Control E, and then make one final cut there, Control E. All right, so now for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna quickly move these guys, click and drag. I'm gonna move them over here into an empty region here. I'm gonna get rid of that one, because I don't want that one. Now we get this one here. All right, so now I've, I've effectively cut my audio region into multiple segments. And the way I wanna demonstrate crossfitting is demonstrating how I can combine uh, this region into these guys here by operating, by uh, adding in a little bit of crossfade between these two instances here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit cause there's not as much going on with this fish tank one. So I'm just gonna take maybe this first little bit though, zoom into that little peak there, right there. I'm gonna take that guy there just control E to split it. And I've not now have a new region. And I'm now just gonna add these guys onto the onto the beginning and ends of those of that fish tank region. All right, there we go. Get in there a little closer so I can line these up a little bit better. All right, so now before I apply any more effects though, let's just give a quick listen to what that sounds like without any crossfading added onto it. Okay, interesting. So now if I wanna say create a crossfade between region one and two here, I like the easiest way to do it is just to select um, where how much of a crossfade you want. So I'm just gonna click and drag uh, over the boundary of the region. So you notice the boundary there. I'm just gonna click and drag. And then the keyboard shortcut is Control Alt F. That just creates an automated crossfade. So um, the equivalent to that on Mac would be, I guess, Command Option F. And then I'll do the same thing over here. I'll just do, drag it out a little bit there. Do a crossfade, Control Alt F. Crossfade, and now let's take another listen. All right, that's interesting. We can uh, give a better demonstration of that here with a little bit more of a longer audio region here. So let's go ahead and drop that guy in there, overlap it a little bit. So you'll notice that I, um, let me undo that. You'll notice that when I dragged this beginning of this audio region, I overlapped it with the audio region behind it. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag that in, drop it. I'm then gonna zoom in, select from the beginning there. Oh, a good portion of it there. I'm gonna do the same thing, Control Alt F. I now have a crossfade between the two regions. We can take a listen. And it's just as simple as that. If I wanted to say, uh, take what I did here 
and combine this into a single region. I can just uh, shift click all three regions together and I can just right click and consolidate. Control J is the shortcut that consolidates into a single region and I now have a single audio region there and I can play a little bit more with the fading if I wanted to. Let's say I wanted this end to not be so harsh. I can fade that out a little bit there and then maybe have a little bit of fade in at the beginning. So it's not quite as gnarly and we can just take a quick listen. And there you go. That's cutting and splicing audio regions and combining them together with some crossfade and joining of audio clips.